son. Wait. The Hello, the everybody. Hey, it's time for more Witcher. As you can see, Geralt has slimmed down. Uh, he he spent a long time in the caves in the where I left him before, but now he's all he's all hairy. He's all hairy and he's slicked up. He's greased up. Uh, my my boy is shiny, shiny and hairy. Uh, yes, this is your Geralt now. Um, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna squeeze the top on him. Same rules apply as before. You want to see that hairy shiny boy? You gotta you gotta cheer or use channel points. Uh, yeah, the Bruce mod. <laughs> Bruce isn't sweaty though. Uh, why does he look like Kid Rock? Oh, so yeah, the um, I don't get why his face looks like that. I genuinely don't know. Yeah, I don't know why he looks like that. I didn't. His face is like crazy now. Um, I think one of the mods kind of got stuck in there. I don't know which one though. So I don't know. Oh. Look at that. All right, Pringle bread. All right, wow. In there with the two two redemptions. Okay, let me uh, let me start the timer here. Um, yeah, he uh, he's just gonna look like that now. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to dig in there and figure out. I probably have an orphaned mod folder that didn't get cleaned up, but I don't know which one it would be because I never added anything to. Uh, I never added any like mods that made him look old and busted. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's see here. Nico Malvi or Nicomol Six. I'm not sure which one that might be, but how am I enjoying the streamer life, dude? I love it. Um, it's starting. I gotta admit though, it's starting to get a little intimidating now that I'm now that I'm over like all the people that I guess sort of like the well that well wish sub to me when I left Rooster Teeth. They, that, those are all kind of falling off now. So I'm starting to get a sense of like how much time you have to put in and and sort of I guess the grind you got to do to to stay. To keep the money flowing on Twitch, and it's uh, it's sobering, I'll admit. But uh, I think my goal is I still genuinely like streaming. Um, but I think if I if I shell out enough for G Fuel and I sell enough, if I if I shove Raid Shadow Legends in enough people's hands, I think I can. I think it'll be okay. Uh, but I got also I gotta light my can. Oh, there's wax on this. Holy crap! I'm not good at this. Uh, all right, uh, I gotta light light the candle, light the witch candle. I will say that I'm already getting on board with the the Twitch way of just having a bunch of dumb uh, like channel in jokes that nobody understands. Oh, thank you, Nico. Yeah, I uh, I'm super super enjoying it. Will you be getting into any acting? I mean, on my own, sure. Like the stuff I'm like reading books and doing screenplays on stream, probably. As far as getting cast in things, uh, so that's when it gets tough. That's when it gets tough. Oh, thank you, Vic. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Oh, detonate. Sorry. Uh, oh, looks better than The Witcher. Thank you for resubbing. Uh, yeah, I see that one. Okay. So, oh, Nathan, also thank you for the cheers. So I see four. I see four minutes of shirtless Geralt. Um. So acting. Yeah. Here's where it gets tough because I think. Basically, all the thing. Oh, Black Mando, thank you for adding a minute there. Um, it's it's a good question, and, and I'm still sort of sort of wrapping my head around it. So, uh, pardon me while I sort of put my thoughts together. Everything I want to do right now is everything everyone else wants to do: streaming, acting, things like that. I don't think I can be successful at any of them if I do them all part time. Uh, I think to be successful at streaming, I'd have to stream 8 to 10 hours a day. To be successful at acting, I would have to be out there hustling 8 to 10 hours a day. And there's just not enough time uh, to do it all. So I think I think what I'm going to do is lean towards streaming. Holy crap, what's going on with this candle? I mean, I appreciate it, but damn, what are you doing? That's like freaking my eyeballs out. I wonder how that looks on stream. Uh, yeah, five shirtless redemptions. I got five minutes on the timer. Uh, devote myself to streaming, basically, and through streaming, though, kind of flex those muscles, too. So the, the dumb Batman Forever book reading I'm doing, uh, I plan to read some screenplays and stuff like that. I want to put myself out there for, like, uh, student films and stuff in the L.A. area. But the thing is, like, if I'm not going to get paid for, like, a year, um, having a fan base helps. But still, it's like, uh, 
it's just... It's, it's hours in revenue, is really what it comes down to. Yeah, don't half-ass two things, whole-ass one thing. That is kind of the way it goes, especially if you're, if you're competing with people. If you're competing with every person on the planet. So, uh... I think what I'm gonna do is, like, I'll put myself out there, but, like, any time that I spend, like, driving somewhere and acting in something, that's, like, time I'm not streaming. It's time that subs are falling off. That's revenue I'm not making. Um, and, and really, like, I've heard this from a lot of people who've streamed for a long time, and it really is true. Any amount of time you take off, it takes five times that to get back to where you were in terms of, in terms of your revenue and your channel performance. So I take a day off to go act in a short or something like that, and that's, like, that's the rest of the week is just making up for that. So, uh, oh, you're in SoCal? Oh, yeah. I want to be, I want to be in student films, but, you know, they, they're not going to pay. Nathan, I do have a P.O. Box. If you scroll down, you can find the address for it. Yeah, please, please send me stuff. Send me whatever you want. I'll, uh, I'll open it on stream. Just, just don't send me a, a venomous snake or something. Maybe I shouldn't have put that idea in there. Huh. <sighs> But yeah, um, yeah. So that, that's kind of where my head's at. I'll I'll use my streaming platform to funnel that that kind of performance drive and creativity, um, probably to the tune of like reading books, doing stupid voices over games. Um, but yeah, apart from that, oh, you're on mobile. It should still show up on mobile, but yeah, the mobile app, it's not as easy. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the plan, or at least that's what kind of makes sense to me for now. My buddy left. For a job in SoCal, and when he got there, it turned out to be an unpaid internship, and he has to figure out what he's going to do. Yeah. Get a side job and kiss all your free time goodbye, basically. Definitely agree with your plan. Can't imagine how competitive it is in LA. I mean, it's just competitive everywhere. I, God, you can't you can't throw a stick on the internet without hitting a YouTuber who wants to be a voice actor. Uh, all kind of clamoring for a pretty small number of gigs. Um, same thing with streaming. Like, who doesn't want to... Yeah! <laughs> All right, uh, who doesn't want to sit on their ass and play video games all day and, and chat with people? It's, it's awesome. All right, the hair is loose. My greased up boy is there. Savage name title combo. So someone at fourteen with the name of Jake Paul and the title of Enemy of Innocence. Oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah, I love fourteen just for the, uh, for the very excellent uh, idea of uh, having uh, having first and last name spots. It, it leads to some some amazing creativity. I finally eat through all my honeycomb. Oh, I want to be anime. I guess I, I was in I was in Genlock. I'm an anime. Genlock was on Adult Swim. I was in an Adult Swim anime. I kill one, another takes its place. I know how you feel. Believe me. So shiny, so glistening. I can't wait for some cutscenes. I want to see some cutscenes with my hairy shirt, my hairy oily boy. How long should we expect this Witchicon to be? Up. Yes, it's not far now. Uh, Jesus uh, Christ. Mm. How's it look? This one. Give it to me straight. No sugar coating. Her wounds will heal. Oh, oh she won't be able to sing my beautiful songbird, Priscilla. Well, you understand what a terrible blow that. Oh yeah. So, in case y'all don't remember, our. Uh, our our sweet our sweet moe girl Priscilla can be of help on that count was attacked and forced to drink poison or something like that so it may burn out her voice um, <sighs> um is there a second season of Genlock I don't I don't know um I don't know take the ladder I'm sure that as as fan favorite character Abel, who had nearly six spoken lines. Quicker we take care of this, the better. Uh, got somewhere to be. Someone. I'm certain that I will be the first to know. For example, or Reverend Nathaniel Pastori. Hold on a second. Let me pause the timer while I read some lore here. Oh yeah, the script I didn't read. Should be a spaghetti of snakes. I agree. Uh, Billy Jean, thanks for the prime sub. Uh, Corvir and Povis are without a doubt the richest realms in the north. Few today remember that that was not always the case. Yet their poverty was once literally on everyone's lips in the form of now antiquated common sayings. As recently as the, in the days of 
Heribear the Quarrelsome once spoke of a particularly impoverished person as being poorer than a mouse from Povis. Called the bone broth Koviri Delight and referred to beggars as Pro... Proxidus? Praxidus? Proxidus? I don't know. After the bay along the shores of which these kingdoms lie. Similarly, if you remember that a mere handful of generations ago, Corvir and Povis were still a part of Redania. King Radovid I, known as Radovid the Great, handed over dominion of them to his hated brother, Troiden, with one stipulation, that he never leave his newly acquired demens and not interfere in matters of state. Ooh. Josh Richmond. Appreciate the prime set, man. Handing over this rocky scrap of far northern ground where, the saying went, the year had two seasons, August and winter, was naturally meant as a cruel joke, a slap in the face for the overambitious Troiden. Yet, time soon proved that Radovid the Great had made a grave error. Before long, it was discovered that Corvier's bare rocks hid priceless treasure in the form of enormous deposits of precious metals and rock salt. This discovery, in turn, led to tremendous growth in productive industry. Mills, forges, and workshops sprouted up like mushrooms after a hearty rain. Radovid III decided to correct his famous forebear's mistake and take back the northern frontiers of his kingdom. He was convinced the combined armies of Redania and its then ally Caedwin would quickly bring this ever more audacious vassal in line. History took a different turn, however, and Corvir won a resounding, crushing victory. Radovid III was forced to sign the First Treaty of Lan Exter, granting Corvir independence while binding it to eternal neutrality. A promise Troiden's successors have kept with great diligence. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nathan! Oh shit. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the donation. <laughs> there was a vice piece about a dude who gets high off snake venom. Huh. <laughs> Tetris win a sellout stream and now some witching. Today has been a good day, Benins. I'm glad you're 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 enjoying everything. Uh Girl Tup, you mean girl getting no hair? No, girl getting all the hair. I guess Oh, you saw a flicker? Ah! It it went all morning without that. Well, we'll see. Hannah, thank you for gifting. Might have been a bug. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, a bug for, like flying past your vision? Mm. I've got everyone on edge now. You guys are just as paranoid as I am. Uh, until recently, Korivir ru was ruled by Estrad Tyson, a king as wise as he was greedy. Yet his untimely demise did not stop his lands from continuing to develop and blossom. Koviri metallurgists proudly compete with the best Mahakam can offer, and many believe the University of Land Exeter long ago surpassed the famous Oxenford Academy as the leading seat of higher learning in the north. And it so has come to pass that over the course of a few generations, the inhabitants of, habitant, yeah, the inhabitants of Korvir and Povis have turned from paupers into princes, from beggars into bankers. Kovir, not Corvir. Oops. Oh, yeah, you're right. Kovir. Thank you, Alicia. I must have been uh, well. must have been driving you insane. You I'm sorry about that. Of a dwarven woodcarver. Okay. Hello. Oh, we got more books. Is there a? But of course. I wonder if there's a god achievement for. For reading every book in the game. You said Koviri, right, though? Yeah, I don't know. I'm getting more used to how my eyeballs take in words and the mistakes that I make. This is how. It, ooh. Body type. Let's keep looking. This is how it goes, though. Um, you know, you get used to the mistakes you make, you learn to actively correct them. It's working, you guys. I'm getting better at reading. Looks like Necrophage has got to this one. I've always wanted tequila with the snake in the bottle. Is it snake? I thought it was a worm. I've never had... Despite growing up in Texas, I've never had a bottle of tequila with a worm in it. Yeah, you're right though. Yeah, Hannah. The, the true achievement is all the knowledge you gain. The enrichment of your life through the attaining of knowledge. A deep lore. Good lord. Beer doesn't count as alcohol that you can make uh, bombs and stuff with, does it? Ooh, diary of a Fire Swallower. Let's pause that timer again. Oh, is it Lock Muen? Is that how you say it? Muen? I think. You guys like bizarre food? Yeah! What helmet do you ride your motorcycle with? It's a, uh... 
I look at the logo every day and, and I'm blanking on it right now. How? Ah. Uh, it's a Japanese helmet. Um, it's really good. I like it a lot. It's super comfy. The only thing is it is a little leaky. I think if I lock money? Really? Muin. That's what I thought. Um, got him. Dot e or got him exe. Thank you for the reset. Uh, yeah, I need to. I think I need to replace the visor. There's also a pretty big scuff like right along the center of the visor. So, what kind of motorcycle do you ride? It's an electric motorcycle. A uh, a zero sr. Oh shit! Posting. Gotcha. Oh, okay, you tricked me. Ah, oh, you got me. Oh, the screen is flickering. I okay. Well, okay. I know, I know what will fix that, but I hate it. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe later tonight after I finish streaming, I'll move it around. Yeah, the blue is just a, uh, is the camera cord being a little loose, um, and I can't help that. Uh, aside from like taping it to the camera or something. Uh, for the flickering, yeah, it just the the, the stream feed won't be as buttery smooth. But, um, or I could just lock it at 60, which is stupid. But maybe just for testing, pur testing purposes I can do that. How often do you do an Acura slide with your motorcycle? I actually did. When I drove it in the rain, the rear tire came out from under me and I, I basically slid along the ground. Uh, aren't you scared of dying on a motorbike? Yes. Is there a guarantee you'll have an accident in the first year or something? It's statistically likely and I did. So, yeah, it happens. Ugh. <sighs> Uh, do you have a license for that bike in California or just a driver's license? You you have to get a certification to ride a bicycle. It's a Class M. Electric bike torquier than a mug? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, not if, when. That is that is 100% true. Uh, I mean, it's most it's true, of, it's true of driving a car. It's doubly true of driving a motorcycle. Uh, do you know something about one of your commercials? You put up and you walk away from a game? Do you assume a gameplay? Oh no, James, I, I'm... Or Jam Master James, I'm very aware that Twitch mutes uh, based on the clips that I use. I don't care. Um, it was a bigger problem when I'd upload them to YouTube because they would get claimed or blocked. But luckily, OBS had the, added the ability to pause recording. So now whenever I go to break, I just pause the recording. It's all great. Okay. That's right. The Summit of Summits itself. We'd gone there, my troopmates and I, knowing there'd be a meeting of the mighty in the ruins. You see, whenever big shots gather to choose some particularly grisly fat... There's coin to be had for performing men like us. Tired jaws need to relax with some laughing and indulging in other sorts of simple delights. I learned this as a lad from my old man, who dragged me around to juggle outside courts and conventions all over the continent. And so now, plying my own trade as a fire swallower, I told the lads... I told the lads up soon as I... Oh, I told the lads up soon as I caught word of what was brewing in Loch Nguyen. No, Mune. Shit, you guys just told me how to say it. I've already forgotten it. And we turned our wagons that away at once. Uh, hey, Luftbox, welcome back. Muin, thank you. Ta! I lost it. I'm not much Muin. I'll remember this time probably. I'm not much one for I'm not much one for politics, but I couldn't help but listen to some of it this time. You see, we Temerians had just lost our king, and our future was to be decided at that very summit, with Josh Natalis representing our side of the matter. Radovid was there too, a young pup then, though emanating strength like a gray-haired alpha wolf. It seemed this wolf was licking his chops over Temeria like it was a ripe bit of carrion. The rest was dull. A lot of talk about the uprising in Adern, Adern and its leader, Saskia, who they called the Virgin, though I never got the chance to check personally whether that was accurate. The Nilfgaardians had a delegate, some Shillard fellow, and mages were there, talking about restoring the Conclave and Supreme Council of Sorcerers. I didn't listen to much of that. My eyes were glued to the unusually large number of armed troops present at these quote-unquote peaceful talks. Steel-plated grunts clenched pointy weapons and paced the ruins' courtyards everywhere you looked. Right of it had even brought the knightly order of the Flaming Rose, those arrogant pricks ready to bash anyone who doesn't think the same as them. Though the coin was coming in amply, we didn't wait around long enough to see how things would develop, just loaded our stuff into our wagon and left it, left it a trot. As we mounted the pass, as we mounted the pass, we looked back to see pillars of smoke, black as pitch, rising above Loch Muin. Muin. There we go. Direct reference to Witcher 2? Yeah? You mean the the king being killed? 
Uh, oh, spook check. I bought World of Horror. I actually wanted to stream it, but I wanted to dedicate this week to uh, to just Witcher. But I probably will, because it looks super, super cool. I'm super into it. Okay, one second. Um, let me do this. I will... I'll change my refresh rate to 60 hertz. Um, I will do the terrible. I will deign to drop below 100 hertz just for you. I'm just curious to see if this will cause it to flicker. Even if it doesn't, it's still not a solution that I'm ready to accept. But, uh, I'll do it. I'll do it, god damn it. God damn it, and, and, and may I rot in hell, but I'll do it. Can't believe this trash. Ugh. I can tell my mouse isn't moving as smoothly as it used to. Me, me, me. Maybe 90 hertz. Even still, I don't. I don't want to go like 100, 120. I'm okay with below that. I don't really want to. Um, I don't consider that like a workable solution. And furthermore, I shouldn't have to. God, this. By the way, I did get a response from. Um, I did get a response from Elgato, and as predicted, they just gave me like. It's funny because they toss out the, the most aggravating and time-consuming troubleshooting steps. It's like, why don't you reinstall Windows? Try reinstalling OBS. And I'm like, that takes so long. So long. And it's... Ugh. Sometimes certain troubleshooting steps are not viable because of the... Uh, because of the amount of time they would take to just restore everything. Um, but, hell man. That's, that's what I, I, I really dislike about, like, tech support, is when they tell you to do something that would take hours. And then they refuse to help you anymore unless you do that thing. So, bleh. What's a witchathon? That's just me playing The Witcher a lot. That's it. Is there hacking a uh, Kali Linux book you'd recommend? Kali? I don't, I don't know what Kali means, but... Uh... Sadly, she was no longer in If you just... I mean, if you, if you just want to learn about network security, there's tons of them. I don't know that I'd have a specific one. Any of my recommendations would probably be out of date at this point. Sounds like they're getting you out of their queue, working as intended. I mean, yeah, that's that's why I'm always so hesitant to actually work with tech support on anything, because like, you don't, you never get like somebody who, you never talk to like a hardware architect or anyone that could actually maybe, uh, maybe like actually help you from a tech level about it. Oh, Jerry, how's it going? <laughs> Well, Solo Samurai, you're seeing 60 regardless. Um, so, it's, it's the, it should be the same for you guys. It's me who has to suffer. Kali Linux is a distro designed for infosec and hacking work. Oh, okay. Well, shows you what I know. Maybe you shouldn't be asking me if I didn't know that. In truth, there is not more repulsive than these monsters that defy nature and are known by the name of Witcher. They are the offspring of foul sorcery and witchcraft. They are veritable scoundrels without conscience and virtue. Unscrupulous creatures of hell. Oh, able, uh, able only to take lives. They have no place amongst decent and honest folk. And this keep, this care mourn. Where these villains nest and practice their foul rituals must be wiped from the earth. All traces of it treated with salt and saltpeter to complete the deed. Hey, Ego. My dinner was fantastic. This isn't it. Let's keep looking. Uh, I only ate half of it, which means I got food for later, too. Are you drinking? Water. Room temperature vodka. Duh. Juh. Juh. Bruh. Yeah, dining pro tip, eat half, basically. Depends what it is, but... Like, if it's fish and vegetables, I'll eat the whole thing, but... This was a, a bit of a heavier meal, so... I ate half of it. I ordered some, like, some nemerals, too, which is basically, like... Pork... Pork meatloaf. Rolled up in, um... Shrimp paper. It's goddamn delicious. And I love it. And luckily... I, uh... I am next to a clutch of like pretty legit this is on the fingers. Korean restaurants that make it. Clothes sticky with sand. There's that. There's that. Dwarf. Fixed Excellent. hair. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood. Not a bit. 
I think I might need to try a different uh, well. hair physics mod. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt, like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some gray dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the socket. Wait, is this Witcher 1 Geralt? So uh, it seems. Maybe? Looking at the wounds. Maybe I accidentally somehow installed a Witcher 1 Geralt face? Because, yeah, he's got the really intense, like, cat eyes. Huh. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Mm. Blisters. Just like. I didn't think they were actually going to show it. Oh, you made it to Heaven's Word, Dapper Cactar? Congratulations. You, you've gotten through the worst of it. The, uh, the actual plot picks up pretty good after Realm Reborn. Realm Reborn is like pretty typical. So thin as to be nearly I, I can even remember. Small, extreme Realm Reborn was mostly like scalpel. them pushing uh, the Empire out, right? Too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Yeah, it makes more sense a girl would have a hairy chest. It kind of does. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out. The end of Realm Reborn, the part which leads up into Heaven where it nearly made me go into a rant. Else. It's a bunch of running around doing BS. Yeah, I don't I don't remember the plot of Realm Reborn. Heaven's Word was like all of the all of the northern territories and like their weird political business and their like pained history with dragon kind and stuff, which Egg from an amphibian. You salamander. Ugh. Scorched but intact. I attended Stormblood, I thought was like he is a student. Stormblood was a pretty A plus, like more grounded political Final Fantasy. Deeply mistaken. Um, reminded me more of like Final Fantasy VI. Uh, Shadowbringers was kind of a more ethereal, kind of like fantasy, like magic wizards did it kind of thing. More on the Nomura scale of like Final Fantasy, but still really, really good. Um, uh, stream World of Horror tomorrow? I might, I might. I, I wanted to dedicate the entire time to Witcher 3, but yeah, World of Horror looks too cool. Uh, I might, yeah, I might do a spooky stream tomorrow. Geralt has the same facial hair as the Leather Daddy Motorcycle Gang member named Chuck. Yeah, you're right. I need to, uh, I need to get a different hairstyle to match this hairy body. Hey, Huey Lewis. Like your name. Yeah, I'll, no, I'll, I'll work my way down to the, the wiener. Don't worry about Look that. scar. Wounds long and thin. How was the raid stream? Incision. I thought it went really well. But the edges are ragged. Uh, hats off to you guys in chat for for being real chill about it. I was I was worried I'd have to do a lot more injury, perhaps. Uh, like being like, why are you mad? But very few people were mad. So, open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt. Wait, smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving... Uh, you played Final Fantasy XI? Yeah, I did. It's more destructive um, than acid. There was actually... Explains why there's no smell of decay. Oh yeah, it was on, um... It was on Salty Bat. I was just like up late and I was like, fuck it, Salty Bat. While I was like digging around on my phone. And they played one of the tracks from Final Fantasy XI. And, like, that... That triggered me. I, uh, I was like, oh, what is that? Because it like instantly uh, snapped me back to all the time I spent in Eleven, which actually has a really good, uh, a really, really, really solid uh, soundtrack. Sorry, I'm trying to trying to add a minute here. God, why didn't they? Why don't they have the plus minute button on this? Stupid, stupid. But I see your I see your re redemption uh, there, Rick. Thank you. I didn't watch because this stream isn't always safe for work, but it seems like if you're actually showing what the game is like, then it's better than saying, this is so awesome, guys, seriously, here's some carefully selected clips of cool visual effects. That was, yeah, uh, Eric Splitten, I'm, I'm glad to hear you say that because that was also my approach too. Um, 
if they wanted to sponsor like a YouTube VOD or if they just wanted uh, just to like drop $20 at my feet and say, tell everyone to go play the game. I don't think I would have been as into that as like, no, actually play it and show it to people and talk about it. To me, that's that's more representative. And it was also like, all you have to do is give people the link and they can go install it. Not asking anyone to spend money. Just try it out. Look at it and just try it out. And that's it. That's it. So that, that aspect was like, oh, okay. That's way better than like having to hit all these talking points and basically come up with this whole like contrived narrative about how to pitch the game. It's more like, no, here's the game. If you like it, try it. If not, don't worry about it. Uh, so I, I did get a lot of other emails uh, that wanted to sponsor YouTube videos and they always had these like, frankly, like you've seen them, right? You've seen what a raid sponsorship is like on YouTube and I, I, I didn't have any interest in that. Uh, and it wasn't until this offer came along that was like, just play it on stream for two hours add these widgets, uh, have like a have a bot command in chat, and just play it. Like, play it and... Psh. Oh. Look at his hands. Much more into that Welts. than um, oh, hitting right. hitting a ton of talking points. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience. Mm. Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagor. Long story. This dude Another rules, time, by the maybe. way. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off. What game are you talking about? Raid Shadow Legends. R r r r raid. Interesting on his legs. His right foot, the ankle swollen, toenails broken. Oh no, Clearly no, he doesn't. Oh, I, something very hard. Something bad happens. Is he older? Before he kicked the bucket. Well, doesn't strike oh. me as the right time for jokes. Oh come on. Yeah, apologies, we surgeons, we've a different sensibility. <laughs> Thank you, Nico. A different sense of humor. Okay, no, I, uh, Isidur, I appreciate your, uh, I appreciate you being a little tight-lipped, because, oh, I forgot to put all this shit in the title, but I actually haven't played this game before. His genitals, so, we ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Uh, okay. Early stages, no sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please. Because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. I thought it was going to be, um... Experimentation. The extraction of the, uh... Trachea kind of speaks to. It couldn't be madness because it's too predictable. I don't know about punishment either because there's so many different kinds of people, so it doesn't really fit a, a theme. It's some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets, cavity where the heart should be, scalding liquid. All centering on war. Yeah, I forget to put blind in the tags and title 90% of the time. I do. Fire eternal. It's, uh... Worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. Yeah. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy. But I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted. Drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. You old friends? Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine. Long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill, not save the world. You've not changed a bit. I love this a dude's compliment. voice, man. No, a statement of fact. Thirty years, and you've not changed a bit. Uh, Torton Coombe, why is Geralt wearing eyeshadow? I don't know. <laughs> it that that just kind of happened in some some weird accident. He's also got some pretty pronounced cheekbones too. Uh, so yeah, save the world. He's in a band. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? Clearly. It's important. Thank you, Solicitor. Plan to investigate. Exciting. 
He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirance was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. Oh, Mark hey. Carver. Hello. He the corpse collector us the nice to see you. Um, you should speak to him. Saw him just watching all the way from Pakistan. Oh, greetings, Your Reverence. Hey, Good Lord, it's a Lord, it's a damn party all of a sudden. Any circumstances? You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. Damn it. As your reverence wishes. Geralt's nip is covered. Gentlemen, follow me. Aggravating. We leave via another route. Okay. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Joachim? Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. I'm gonna guess there hasn't been any flickers yet. Yeah? Maybe, uh... I don't know. Nathaniel, who is he? God help me, I'm, I'm starting to think a maybe rogue. I need to set it to like 60 every, every time I stream. the robes of the eternal fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. Boom. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was... <laughs> the girl fat again, 2020. Delighted especially in torturing women. Uh. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the temple guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the temple on the aisle, and so forth. Hmm. Dream job. Do channel points correspond to real life currency for streamers? No. Channel points are, are kangaroo money. Uh, bits do. Channel points do not. They are purely just for fun. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. I decide when we're done with the subject. What's your connection to him? An old story, but if you insist. The student protests mm. in 1242, you've heard of them? I led them. Hubert, however, denounced me to the authorities. I landed in prison. There you have it. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. Hmm. Oh. You going to bed, Hannah? Alright. Thank you for watching. Uh, I gotta figure out this deep sea fishing thing. Oh! Speaking of Final Fantasy XIV, sorry. Uh, I did start a cross world link shell. Uh, for. Uh, for anybody, so. So far, no flicks? Okay. I guess in the meantime, I'll just keep it to 60. It's not as offensive to me as I thought it might be. Um, then again, I'm playing I'm playing Witcher. It's not like I'm playing, you know, Quake. Or Doom. Uh, so yeah, maybe tonight I'll, uh, yet again... At least it's not 30? Oh, it'll never... It'll never be 30. Good God. I mean, God of War is 30, but... <laughs> um... Yeah, tonight I think after I cut the stream, I'll, I'll pop open my case and move the capture card around to some different PCIe ports and see what happens. Uh, I did find a different uh, uh, HDMI adapter, so maybe I can try my DisplayPort. Uh, there are powered uh, DisplayPort to HDMI converters, so maybe I can do something with that? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe if I do a powered uh, converter. You, Eustace, the corpse collector. Problem is, I I want to keep the 1440p for YouTube capture. Not that anyone on YouTube gives a damn, it so it's is. kind of pointless. You, bring you need to invite people and then make some mods and link shelf for other people to do it. You're right. I forgot about that Pringle bread. Yes. I either have to have them on my friends list or target them to invite them to the link shelf, which is kind of wild. You can't just type in names. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, I guess if you... Want to be in the link shell? Send me a friend request, and next time I log in, I will approve them all. Also, my name's really hard to spell. 
Clatteroth saith aloud. <laughs> so, sorry about that. One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? <laughs> sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Ugh. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. <laughs> Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, hmm. Shame that was. Shame? Why? Yeah, actually... Actually, never mind. Nah. Another thing that's Usually watch YouTube stuff in theater mode on 1080, so no big deal, even though I'm on a 1440 monitor. Yeah, that, that kind of stems from... I want to, through this stream and also through YouTube VODs, show games off in a high of quality as possible. Because to me, it's it's almost like a a weird respect to the artists and the designers and everybody that worked on the game to then represent it or recreate it in as high fidelity as possible. Uh, SGK, thank you for the cheer. My credit card company thought this was fraud when I bought these bits. Oh, you see, uh, that's just the that's the system trying to get us down, trying to bring down the gamers again. You search Fabian's body. Well, oh yeah. Cost an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Piece off, mutant. Oh! I'm gonna res up all over you. Talk. What did you find on it? Take that dialogue shortcut. I, uh, as you wish. Triflings, balls. Glow speeded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality. Plan on doing a Discord server? Already got one. The right inner cell is new. Uh, that's Shiro Yasha. Priscilla, next victim's name. Oh shit! If you'd given this to the right, if you, folks, oh, there it is, Prince. Not been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care? What happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. God, oh, this guy. <laughs> Boy, fucking hell, what was that for? For everything. <laughs> it laid that dude out. Holy crap. Alright, well. Gods, holy what happened here? Monsters must have run him down. There's swarms in the city now. Oh, I forgot to restart the timer. Yeah, that's some World Star shit right there. Okay. Uh, shirtless timer has has begun. How does Geralt manage to keep his beautiful body clean? He runs a he runs a comb through it. You gotta untangle all those all those hair knots. Cause you know that oil gets all matted up in there. You know it does. It's all sweaty. It's because of his accelerated metabolism. He's just sweating all the time. What? Would you call me? Meditate. Yeah. This is now a meditation stream. Uh, I don't feel like this is the way they want me to go. No, okay. Yeah, oil's good. It's really dry in Novigrad. Those Novigrad nights will dry out your skin. You gotta keep rubbing yourself down with oils. Keep you keep yourself witchy soft. I believe the term is glistening. Yeah, I tried to install multiple sweat mods, hoping they would stack. But Witcher does, or um, yeah, Witcher doesn't really mod that way, unfortunately. Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll set me hands on you, Molly, Striga, come. Relax. I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Set your stupid much lay down. Come on. Come on in. Slowly now, let's take bite you. Charming as beasts go. You daft. Even I'm scared of them. A better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I ran to a mate who raised his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But I sleep sound at least. Mr. Stream, why are we back in Novigrad? Uh there are a ton of quest lines back in Novigrad that I, I didn't wrap up. I got basically to the end of Novigrad and then this whole other storyline kicked up. 
Um, I, I was just like, oh, I'll just open the brothel. No problem. That'll be fun. And then there's a real a real hard swerve right at the end. Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. So now I'm, I'm bought into this quest. Uh, I actually want to follow the storyline through. Just Meyer. Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Jesus. So That's a so hellacious dog. Say. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from uh, hipster, slow hipster, I wish more than anything I could get a tramp stand lodge. That's I haven't ever seen one. Folk gathered on the blaze. I'm from Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. During my second playthrough, I'm really taking my time and taking in the world. It's kind of amazing how authentic and immersive the dialogue between NPCs feel. Yeah. Uh, Solo, that's something that's really stuck out to me, too. Um, the little the little barks that all the NPCs have do so much to setting up the environment and playing into specifically the region you're in. Which reminds me, hold on a second. Actually, I need to... I forgot again, but I need to add a uh, blind to my uh, Twitch title. So people don't pop in here with all their dang old spoilers. Also, Stephanie's messaging me. Okay, sorry about that. Got to write to my girl. You know how it is. Okay, there. Uh, oh, I got to put it in the tags, too. Do people look at tags? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Yeah, typing ASMR. I really like this keyboard. <laughs> Oh, you do, Dante? Okay. Well, you know, can't, can't hurt. It only took me like a second. I just didn't know if anyone actually used them. Is that a Razer keyboard? Yes, it is. It is like the Razer keyboard, the original. It's the original, um... It's the original Black Widow that they put out in, like, 2010. Um... Uh, yeah, when they announced they were making mechanical keyboards again, I was like, hell yeah! And this kicked off a whole... Like, a whole... A whole movement of mechanical keyboards. I've always loved mechanical keyboards, and then, like, through the... Through the 90s and the early 2000s, they were just all rubber mat keyboards and it sucked. Even like pro gamer keyboards were not mechanical. Surprise it still works? Yeah, it's it's a it's a fighter. I've I've seen i I've noticed some weird quirks with it in the last I want to say year. I had that problem with Doom where like the W key would start flickering. Um, sometimes in emails, certain buttons would just enemies. not register just like right away. Threaten him, maybe. So, I've been thinking about uh, swapping out all the switches, but are they cherry browns? I don't know. I think they're blue. But you were in um, I mean, as well. pull up. Yeah. You put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, What's let's buy some tools. Quality tip up. Off. So, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Whoa. To falling one in particular. He'd say, "Tis all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag." Damn it. I don't know which one I can grab. That was about. Maybe he was in love with Oh, several keys began doubling. This hmm. dish rag. That's not good. I haven't had that issue yet, luckily. She died a few days back. Cherry mix blues are the loudest cherry switches, so it makes sense. A pawn said a fever took her. Yeah, this was um I mean this was I got this keyboard before there were multiple kinds of switches. It was just here's here's a mechanical keyboard. And I was like, hell yeah! And only I feel like Shortly after this keyboard, then suddenly there was a whole range of, uh, of mechanical keyboards. So let's see, which one can I pray off here? We'll go with pause. Okay, so the the cap under is blue. Um, and I swear when I bought this, it wasn't like that was a thing. It was just mechanical switch is okay. Um, how modular are those switches? I've never... Because I, I, I feel like this was... I don't want to change them. I, I do like clacky, clacky, you know, machine gun uh, switches, but... Do you need Coke Gaming? Yeah. Dude, I need it all. Are you kidding me? Yes. Fine. We've talked enough. Load me up with sponsors. I want the stream to look like a goddamn NASCAR. 
Just beware of the dogs. Uh, oh Jesus. Blood stains. That's where Phoebe and Leah, when they find him. Mm. Poor guy. Where do I drag something? I dragged right? something across the floor. Statues. Or oh, dragged it from one wall to the other repeatedly. Ah. Girl's thinking too fast. If they're cherry style, you can practically fit anything on there? Okay. I are they soldered in? Do do you have to like solder out or like remove solder from a couple of contacts to put in new switches? No offense, but fuck those mutton chops are ugly. They are. I I it's okay. I did that on purpose. Remember, good people, that fire can be both a blessing and a curse. Fire can warm with its flames. Fire can prepare our nourishment. Fire can drive off the holes of the dark. Yet fire can also scorch, burn, and incinerate. That is why we must live in harmony with the eternal fire and its commandments. Whoever fails to heed its lessons, whoever lives in ignorance of it, whoever mocks it, shall same, uh, the same shall lose his life in the flames. Take counsel to heart, good people, or you will reap the consequences of your deeds. That's not good. So he made fun of the Church of Eternal Fire at some point, and then they came and got him. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Mm. Shapely ones. Mm. I don't like where this is going. Oh yeah, it's 12 teraflops? Yeah, no, Xbox Series X pretty cool. I mean... I'm still gonna be on PC, so whatever. And if I go inside the workshop, I've not even peeked inside since since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. Oh yeah, it's time to put a shirt back on, Geralt. I'm sorry. Yeah, Ava. <laughs> Stephanie actually has a tattoo of that because she loves that scene so much um, from uh, from Clue. So many flops. I mean, I mean, modern PCs are probably about that, right? Okay, I gotta use a restroom. Oh, I see that redemption though. Let me let me start that, roll back that timer. Yeah, exactly. Imagine that scene in, from Wayne's World with you in a coat gaming race car fire suit while eating raid shadow funyuns and talking about NordVPN. I wish, I wish, I'd be so rich. All right, see you guys in a second. Uh, no. Ooh, I'm back. Father! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gotta wiggle. Gotta wiggle. Get everything situated. Alright. Little gamer wiggle. Oh! That's how you enter a room. Eyes. Humanoid. Ugh. Completely rotten. Bro. Jeez. More blood stains. But not near enough to say he bled to death. Sweet spot for this generation going to be Less. PC and PS5. Somebody and you can play everything that comes blood. out. What about Switch, my man? Stains behind. But yeah, you're, you're basically saying, like, buy everything. Uh, you're right. Um, Mal died. Doubt Fabian used it. Because, yeah, PC will cover you for, for Microsoft exclusives. Which is, uh... It's fine. It's still a Microsoft platform. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Nothing interesting. Are you sure? That's it? We're just calling it? Interesting. Interesting. A lot of free booze, though. What's up, Pink Sunny Water? Good to see you again. Welcome back to the Stram. Just robbing a dead man. You know how it is. Switch is an 8K 120FPS. That's true. Until the Switch Purr comes out. That's right. You didn't. You didn't think about the switch per, did you? Follow the trail of scent. Yeah, that's the. Uh, I mean, it. It's gone though. It was just that puddle of formaldehyde that had Witcher stink lines all over it. I don't want a damn rake. I want to loot this. Thank you. Give me that. Hey, right Reginald. Oh, you're heading off to work. All right. Have a good day. Hopefully, your your work shift is productive and rewarding. Good lord, those are big dogs. What's up, Geralt? You think you can run with the big dogs? Oh yeah, I forgot to start the timer. There we go. Where's the chonk? Uh, Geralt absorbed it all and uh, metabolized it into hair. Hair and sweat. 
Now we got a shiny boy. A shiny, hairy boy. Yeah, this game has great music. It's got great everything. There's really nothing that's not great. It even sounds proud. Huh? <laughs> Pay up, ass. Oi, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Damn it. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You are to come as soon as you can. This game is almost as good as Shenmue. Shenmue is so good. It's a shame nobody bought it. It's gonna take like another 20 years for people to get nostalgic about Shenmue and then remember that no one buys it ever. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. Yeah, people get pissed off. I installed the mod where you can't just loot everything you see. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Stance Cat. Excellent timing. Robin! Sis. Dave. How am I to know? Oh. Jim, see what he does. Giving you no choice. Hey Nathan Arby, thank you so much for the cheer. You've been uh you've been extremely generous today, thank you. Didn't you know I'm rich on raid money now? Yeah. Nice when they pay me in two months. Ultra boss? Thank you so much for the sub. Cool name. Ooh. Oh! Octopath Traveler was a disappointment. Yes, it was. They're making a sequel, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe more will be going on there. But Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is a pretty. They're porting Xenoblade Chronicles, which I would say is an even better, like, JRPG. It's not quite as trashy. Um, ooh! Thank you, Kala. Let me flip this for you. Oh, oh. I knocked myself over. I don't know, there's plenty to play on the Switch. It's just a different kind of vibe of a console. The... There we go. Maybe two will have a story? Oh, Xenoblade? Oh, you mean Octopath, yeah. I was bummed. I, I assumed that everyone's storyline would meet up into some, like, huge boss fight at the end, but it didn't. It just kind of stopped. My understanding is that there is actually, like, an optional boss way at the end, but it requires just a ton of grinding. And boy, did I not feel like playing that game anymore. Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, thanks, Nathan. Thanks for, thanks for squeezing those bits out. Uh, do I ever do drinking streams? I will for Doom Eternal. Hey, I'm planning a Calm down. drink stream for Doom, Etern Doom Eternal on March 20th. Getting here. Get in vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. Aww. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. Pringle! Thank you so much for the cheer! Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. And I guess there's some kind of Twitch thing going on right now, or I guess it's 20% more cheer. So thank you for that. different. Agreed to put me in her place. Taking Twitch's money, taking Raid's money. Lots of the other it's all mine today. Afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Yeah, big pog moment. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Hmm. Uh, you're gonna use us use channel points for something special for Doom? It's not a bad idea. Still in the, uh, I guess what it is, the ideation phase. Oh, you're putting it towards, you're putting it towards Sexy Girl. Okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Let me, uh, let me rack up that timer. Pringle, you guys should all thank Pringle, because now you get Harry Geralt for even longer. 
Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. And I'm going to start it after this conversation. Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars. Uh, no, I haven't found the succubus, orphans. though. 5k we points for pistol only? Oh, man. Humans. That's a really cool idea. That's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, but... I think... That's what folk called them. Uh... No friends, no families. So... Their body I'm putting together plans with more than just me. So... Things like that would probably be more based on money than channel points. Just to make it better for everyone else that's going to be involved. If that makes sense. Um, so... Oh, that's going to get complicated, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh... Yeah, I'll think about it. Um, yeah, pretty sure you did find the succubus in Novigrad. The lady who had killed people, but you let her live and leave the city. Oh, her, yeah, yeah, never mind. I did. I did that. I'm gonna consider playing Horizon Zero Dawn, great game with amazing with amazing lore. Ah, if I if I have a lull, it there's a ton of other games that are basically like Horizon, like Witcher 3, that I kind of want to play more. Having a group drunk stream for Doom Eternal? There are going to be other people involved, yeah. Um, still working out the details, though. I can't really... Oh, pink sunny water. Thank you for adding a minute. Take that on there. Uh, yeah, 13 minutes. You Take care now. 1k bits for 5 minutes of pistol only. 10k for more. a full level, maybe? Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Maybe? Naturally. We'll stand aside. Behave. I, I'm not going to decide anything Do now. tell but... us if you find anything else. Oh, shotgun is the default weapon? Gotcha. Uh. Oh, my head's ringing. Got a problem. Yeah, I, uh, that's a good idea. A brazier, this time of year? We're still trying to figure out, uh... Man's footprint. Rub all of our brain cells together. Maybe. Weight on his heel. Took a step back. Human. Priscilla's. Can't recommend Horizon enough. Murderer fled I guess for me, I just... Arrived. I'm not sure I want to play another giant map filled with... Trail ends here. Icons game. Strange. Aside from this I one. I couldn't jump this wall. Well, same sermon. Remember, good people! Uh, is this a different one, or is it the same one? It is a different one. The light cast by the fire dispels every darkness, reveals each lie, exposes every unworthy and debauched soul. Not even shape-shifting dabblers can hide from its light. Not even witches and sorceresses. So adept at fooling the common folk. Not the loose women who walk the street and fog men's minds with their charms. Abandon then the treacherous and immoral magic arcane. Cover your bodies in modesty and provoke no unclean thoughts. And the eternal fire will expose you all monsters and sinners or else burn you too in its flames. Combat in Horizon is super satisfying. Yeah, okay, I guess that's the only thing that would really put me over the edge on it. A is easier. This time of year is uh, if the gameplay is super solid and not just like run here, shoot this I thing. That smell. Run there, shoot that thing. Well to hide. Yeah, Monster Hunter World is very sluggish. You have to not think about it like it's a, a 3D action game, which is exactly what it looks like and kind of represents itself as. <laughs> yeah, it took me a while to wrap my head around Monster Hunter World. I feel like I enjoy it now, but boy, oof! It it routinely does not put off the best first impression. Okay, so I guess there's some religious zealot going around killing everybody that they they determine is uh. Let me start the timer. I'm glad you asked. I swear it feels like every dark RPG has zealous religion about fire. Yeah, I mean, I really Game of Thrones is the only one I can think of, but it makes sense, right? What else? Uh oh. Remember, dear people. Hold on. That a fire once lit cannot be stopped. That it consumes everything in its path. That only ceases to rage once all has been turned to ash. Men cannot flee this element. And if they bow before it, if they let it into their hearts, they too turn to ash. Search then your consciences and live in accordance with the church's that dictates before the time for penance has passed. Yeah, in Game of Thrones, the fire legend was the good one. I mean, it makes sense. In a world before electricity, fire is like the most mysterious, powerful thing. I guess there's magic here, but... I mean, there's kind... Not really a religion around magic, but... A whole organization, too. I hear Gwent. 
Oh, I need to go get my hair cut. Oh, it's the middle of the night, though. <sighs> yeah, it does seem a little bit like this This is a, a plotline that is similar to 7. Which game sticks out in your mind when you think of gaming with your closest friends? Any memories stand out? Hmm. I have good memories of playing Final Fantasy XIV. Um... Quake. Which I guess is like... A lot of people now would associate that with Halo. Just getting together with the bros or Call of Duty. Uh, getting together with the bros and shooting some things. Uh... Hmm. I'm starting to develop a lot of those feelings around single player games thanks to yeah, Twitch right. now. Glad you're Witcher here. 3. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. Uh oh. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Okay, never mind. This guy is cool. Long Grads told me all about you. Ah. Doubtless you've heard how I had the noble leader of the student protesters thrown in prison. But did you hear the protests were far from peaceful? Or did he neglect to mention it? People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but... Alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue. Mm. Where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim... Oh, Dead Mouse? He donated $10,000 to, uh... He was appointed head of the very ward I had... Uh, Frame Fatales. The, um... The all-female, uh, Games Done Quick Marathon. So, yeah, sorry, Regulus. I probably could have been a little more clear about that. I just felt like... Giving some acknowledgement, because he just kind of did it out of nowhere. Um, have you played Divinity 2? Not yet. That would be a really cool game to play through with people. Um, man. Choosing the lesser evil can be hard at times. Happen to know a thing or two about that. In that respect, this yeah. work has its benefits. I couldn't possibly hurt anyone here if I tried. Super rad of him. He was, he was just like poking around in chat and then just dropped uh, a stack of cash. Like he doubled their take. And it's for a really good cause, too. I've been trying to poke around my bank accounts and see if I can free up some money to, to donate, because uh, I'm super into it. About 30 hours in and haven't scratched it? Yeah. Divinity Original Sin 2. That's one of those games where they're, like, the in, the entire video game could just be the opening area, but it's one of them. One of them games. My guy Joel met him once. Very nice if you talk about games and cars and not music. Oh, I could see, yeah. I can see that. I bet he's sick to death of people talking to him about music. Need a solid group for it to not fall apart 100 hours in? Whoa. Is GDQ becoming a permanent thing? I thought they were going to start up again for a few months. So, they do their big streams. Awesome Games Done Quick and Summer Games Done Quick, but they've started to do more events in the meantime. So this is a, a hybrid online offline event uh, to highlight, I guess, the, uh, the female members Your of their exactly. communities. Or female identifying the members. Theology at Oxford Academy. Found this morning. Uh, they're gonna play Beat Mania 2DX, and I'm probably missing it. Anytime. Uh, so I gotta go back and watch that later. It was all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical mm. of the faith's doctrines. Interesting. Yeah. Mortal sin in Novigrad. Interesting. Interesting. I never watched any of their stuff until you were hosting them. Yeah, I mean, I love it just for the celebration of, like, deep, deep gaming culture, because the people who speedrun games, man, they are... They are... They see sides of a video game I never will. And there's something that I love about people who have that devotion to something and being able to use it to both exhibit it to the world, uh, to show off this talent that they've cultivated, and then also use it for a really good cause, which is what Games Done Quick is always about. Um, so it's the intersection of gaming and philanthropy is something that means a lot to me. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's why I'm, I'm super into it all the time. Also, their production Very talent is are. world class. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone. Damn. Because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Uh, 
But, uh, yeah, so I appreciate it on both those levels. Uh, Games Done Quick, Hazardous Noob. Uh, their streams are ridiculously well produced. Their stream quality is out of this world. I remember watching a speedrun of F-Zero GX, and, like, the frame, there were zero frame drops, and it looked crystal clear the whole time. And that's a very fast game with a lot of strobing textures. And I'm like, they have, they have, like, they must have a, uh, like a diesel-powered encoder that can just crunch all of that data. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Mm. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage. and... What's this? Oh, Jesus. A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Oh! Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her. Now. Crap! Uh... What are good multiplayer games for a solo player looking to get more into it? Hmm. Concerned citizen? Um... That's, that's a decent question. I guess it depends on what kind of multiplayer experience you're looking for. Ah. I guess it's on my mind simply because I was just just talking about it, but uh, Final Fantasy XIV. But that's got a sub. You probably don't want to get into that. Um, Tetris ninety nine. Uh, just because I played it today. There's so much out there. It really depends what you're what you want. Yeah, co-op or competitive. Yeah, you might have to narrow it down a little bit. Oh yeah, God bless these chickens. I put little hats on them. <laughs> God bless mods. All right. Any flat earthers in chat? Good point. I mean, there was that, uh, Nathan, there was that guy who was gonna launch his own rocket to prove that the world was... to prove that the world was flat, but I don't think it ever got off the ground. Uh, oh, somebody used my raid link! Sorry, apparently that, that shows up in the, uh, the tracker. For, uh... Yeah, oh, no, that was him? I saw that headline, I didn't know it was the same guy. Oh no! I remember last time he tried to do. Uh, I tried. He tried to do the, uh, the the trial. He had to cancel the cancel the takeoff. Mad Mike Hughes. That was him. Oh no! I didn't. I didn't know that was the same dude. Oh. He hit the dome. Obviously. Oh. Oh my God! Though the flat earthers have got to be losing their minds. They pro they're probably claiming sabotage, right? Like he was too close. He was too close to uncovering the 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 truth, and the deep state had to shut him down. Oh my God! I didn't know. I thought it was just a uh, I thought it was just a daredevil who tried to do his own rocket. I didn't know that it was actually the flat earther that was trying to prove it. Ah oh, man, I'm gonna have to follow up on that. That's crazy. Oh, we just used it to get more donations. Oh, okay. Interesting. Wait, there's layers to this whole narrative, then, huh? <laughs> it shot straight up, lost the parachute on the way, and then hit the ground head on. Oh, God, imagine. Imagine, like, hitting that parachute button, nothing happening, and then knowing for sure you have five seconds to live. God. I, mm, that's creepy. Uh, Alright. Remember! Dear people, that a fire once lit cannot be- Oh, no, wait, hold on. It's the same note. Fingies, punishable by death. You're fine like my grandma. Just getting in his laps in the morning, I guess? All right. I trusted a woman once, long ago. I was willing to give me right hands for her. What? Don't got me right hand now. Oh, yeah, never mind. That's a, that's a hefty ride. Anyone see that Netflix documentary where they accidentally prove the Earth is round at the end? No. That's a whoopsie. Surely there must be a... Oh, crap. The dude left the city. Man, of course it's that dude. Of course it is. Crap! Oh, Beyond the Curve. Okay, I'll have to check it out. What are your wounds? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can 
Her life's in danger. Tarkov got me really angry, so I'm here now. Her blood on your hands. Abo, yeah. I'm I'm scared of Tarkov because I know it will. will throw my ass out. It will get me tilted all the time. I always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vega, bud. Just no trickle. Ugh, sorry. Understand. I've been doing some back workouts lately, so my back muscles are kind of tight and a little sore. Got to keep rolling it up, making sure that oh, posture's hey. good. What a pleasant surprise. You know, when this hair boy rolls up, it's a good time. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. Tarkov gives me panic attacks. It's so tense. Come on. Ugh. I saw my Is that why people like watching it? She seems sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our gods? He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned the mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. Uh oh. A rather serious one. She's doubting the. To Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square, mm. but had not a word on her way home. She had all the holy books and signias reliquaries gathered, wow. taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. Oh no. Hurry. Yeah, she put a big old target on her back, huh? Actually, hold on, I want to read this. I'm gonna pause the timer. Don't worry, you're not missing out on Harry time. They did a flashlight uh, slit experiment where. On one end, they shine a flashlight at a certain height from a long distance away. They hold up a panel with a hole in it. So if the earth was flat, if you match the heights, uh, you could see the flashlight on the whole side, but obviously it didn't. Yeah. Uh, Nathan Harvey, thanks for the thanks for the cheer, man. Uh, how do flat earthers deal with, I mean, the age-old thing of like a boat going over the horizon and slowly disappearing as opposed to just fading into the fog? How do they... Like, because that was what what originally... Um, also, there was... I think Copernicus did some shit with, like... Um, oh, no, wait. Copernicus was the heliocentric uh, model. Uh, he was, like, lifted up a couple of feet, and then they saw the flashlight. He was stunned. Aww. View distance limitation? That would just make it disappear. Like, fade into the... I don't know. I think the answer is they don't. <laughs> It's a curved earth and flat, but not round. Is that is that really it? Oh boy. You played Hunt Showdown. Uh, I, I installed it, but I never actually played it. They claim it's perspective. Hmm. Interesting. How do delusional people deal with any hard evidence? Yeah. Reject it and then dive even further back into their own belief? Yeah. That's true. I'm, I, like, I, I don't, I'm not asking because I think that any one of these is the silver bullet. I know they're not. I'm just curious the lengths that people go to. Like, I, I enjoy seeing the mental gymnastics happen. All seems to be in order. Because I guess, uh, for me, it's always an empathy exercise of like, can I even wrap my head around somebody that tries that hard to believe in their own, in their own delusion? Oh, shit. Oh. He ran out the other door. Catch Fuck! Him. Well, maybe. Oh, she probably lost her trachea already, or had to drink from aldehyde. No, Joke's on you. I'm not burdened by. I'm not burdened by clothes. Ugh, Geralt, we gotta go. Murderer's still here. I bet I can smell the formaldehyde on him, though. Eh. Oh, <laughs> can't cut my way through the hedge. Can't use igni. They're willing to die for what they believe, are you? Oh, they think it's me now? Bullshit! I'm not gonna kill guards? Crap. Any last words? Nice. This wouldn't be the benefit of lying about a round earth? Yeah, I don't know, like... It, that has to meet up with some element of the, the fantasy, right? Or, sorry, the, uh... Like, what's the conspiracy? How does somebody benefit from... From the... From pushing that... Uh, conspiracy. I don't know. So they can sell more globes? Uh... 
Uh, do, do I really have to kill guards? This music is really great, though. Uh, not sure exactly what... Supposedly because it preserves religious teachings, and according, according to some of the more crazy ones I've talked to. But I thought most religions didn't like the round earth idea. Do I really have to kill them? That seems mean. I'll break your bones. And again, I guess it's it's not like this belief is can't catch him now. Oh. I don't want to have to kill innocent guards. Really? Why don't I have to kill them? That's You don't have to kill them, just knock them out. Okay. All right, fine. You cannot reason people out of a position they did not reason themselves into. That's a good point. Alright, that's a really good saying, actually. Oh, I refuse. Ow! I don't think you can, uh... I don't think you can... I think as long as... Maybe as long as the last hit is with fists, I won't kill them. Or maybe if I get close to... Whatever, they're NPCs. I shouldn't care. be killed? Okay. No, you cannot! No, you can't. <sighs> They're accomplices in a murder case because they let the killer get away? Hmm. Round Earth conflicts with geocentric theory. God's will would be put to question if the Earth wasn't the center of the universe. So many religions didn't like it. Well, that has to deal with the heliocentric universe, right? Um, I, yeah, yeah, maybe that was more of the deal than just the Earth being a globe. You think the Xbox Series spec? I I don't know. It do, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. It's a number. Spread out. Murder is still here. Um. There he is. Get him. Uh, I I mean I I think if anything it's a it's a testament to Microsoft's dedication to like high end gaming stuff. I think, I think they're still trying to demonstrate over and over in as many ways as they possibly can that they learned their lesson from the Xbox One launch. Die, um, that's what I read it as. Well, it should be good news, right? Oh. Uh, we should try to be empathetic to cult members as we can, making fun of them and talking down to people's least effective way to convert them. Yeah, that is true. But I feel like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about how to rehabilitate uh, cult members or, oh, God damn it, or people with, um, people with, like, delusions of that nature. Oh. Halt! I guess that guy I can lose to. your eyes! Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. Can you actually kill him? Well, no, wait, don't tell me until I finish the quest. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but... Lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running, thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! What's Mother, wrong with his face? I don't know. Why did he do this to her? It just looked like that after I threw on a ton of mods, so... Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid. I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body. A note indicating his next victim. May I? 
uh, making fun of them and talking down as, to them is one of the reasons so many people believe in Flat Earth. For many of them, it is a community to belong to when they don't feel like they fit in anywhere else or have a voice. It's something the documentary brings up a lot. Yep. It is a, it is a uh, cycle you see over and over again. I think there are a lot of people that when they feel disenfranchised, they follow somebody that tells them that they're right. Or that they're... Oh, Bruises. Goodness. Broken fingernails. She defended herself. And wouldn't you know it? Must be why it took him longer. Uh, I feel pretty strongly that. Not. Oh man, but on a is sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Yeah, I mean plastics. I was about to make that connection, but I'm glad you guys. I'm glad you got there first, so I didn't have to say it out loud. I do think that there is an entire group of the American populace that was going ignored, neglected, and kind of talked down to by media and pop culture. So. Once, uh, once somebody came along and, and acknowledged them, spoke directly to them in terms that they understood, and told them that they were right and that that you know they were they were going to get stuff if they elected him, they did. So, yeah. So now we got to figure out how to how to heal. And the problem is like, once somebody gets to a certain point and they're like really preaching really damaging things, it's really hard to to like heal that divide to bring somebody back into being a goddamn. Uh, decent person. <laughs> um, in my experience, the best thing to do is find out why somebody believes what they do and understand it. Then you can tell them your, what your perspective is. Yeah. Listening to people, uh, it's it's frustrating because I, I this goes back to the old contradiction of like tolerating intolerance. Um, something like flat Earth. At least nobody's getting hurt. Anti-vax though, you know, you're leading to kids getting polio and measles and that's very hard to be tolerant of um people that are just chill with detention centers and stuff it's very very hard to to be like well what do you think because that's just some stuff actively causes damage to innocent people and it's it's very hard to separate somebody who goes to that just because they felt neglected and somebody who goes to that because they want to hurt people I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm not a sociologist. And now I'm getting into probably heavier topics that are outside of my lofty pay grade. Uh, now that, that Raid has given me my bump. Oh, conservative policy enabling abject poverty. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's fast. Yep. Cut taxes, give it to rich people. Give uh, give poor people like an extra twenty five dollars on their tax returns so they don't they don't complain, and then saturate uh, news media with the narrative that you need to push. There is a distressing thread between people who believe in conspiracy theories and people who have suffered physical and psychological trauma earlier in their lives. Wow, usually it's by uh, male authority, and creates an aversion to authority and dad archetypal figures. They see large authorities like the government as something to be int very interesting of. Busca, that is, that is never something I thought about. Hmm. But I, I do agree that like, there is, there is a huge, there is a huge and very powerful and very emotional rejection of like, like you said, authority, and definitely of, of, being told to accept something or being told to like behave in a certain way. It's, I've kind of commented in the past that I, I do kind of enjoy that American like. If you tell me to do something, I will do the exact opposite every time. Sometimes that's fun. Sometimes it's not so fun. Yeah, sorry, Josh and Eggroll. We were talking about flat earthing, and it kind of went off into, I guess, some of the some of the uh, more unsavory parts of, of humanity. Uh, bad news, though. Uh, it's time for time for Geralt to get clothed. Uh, greatest, thanks for the prime sub. Hell yeah, hell yeah, LL Cool J. America number one. I'll admit, though, like, I love the United States a lot. I love a lot of the concept of it. I know it's got its dark patches in history. A lot of nations do. Um, oh, thank you guys. JJ Smooth and Shadow, thank you for uh, for liberating Geralt. Uh, but there are, there are some weeks, man. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a... I didn't know that! I didn't know he just randomly had like a blunt sword so you didn't kill the guards 
whatever. Uh, there are some times where like headlines will hit and I'll, I'll like go through my drawer and I'll see my American flag socks and I'll be like, I can't wear these today. Um, I, I wish I could. I even have like, I have a bitchin' American flag romper that I want to wear again and I just, hmm. remember to loot the body? Oh, to get the, to get the note? Crap, you're right. I thought Garrett was like, I gotta leave. And I was like, oh, okay. Because, yeah, there's supposed to be a, a, a name in there. And I don't remember getting that name. So I was like, that's weird. And then the game seemed to tell me to, that it was time to go. So I'll go back. Uh, this will all be bonus time. <laughs> I want to wear that romper again. But uh, I don't know. Um, in, the, in the modern climate, sometimes I think proudly sporting the American flag... Especially on certain days after certain things happen, it's in the wrong message. Oh, you did get the name? Oh, okay. I mean the body you kill? Uh, I didn't kill anybody. Mr. Robot, you can copy pasta, but don't spam. Like, one or two tasteful copy pastas totally down with. If it's good, then go with it. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, that's that's quality copy pasta. <laughs> well done. Whoa, what's all what's all these people? It's like all the NPCs just spawned. Oh, hot elf girl. The lady's grown tired of your company. Lady, what lady? See her ears. She elf, and everyone knows elves are always doing something on the sly. Oh, racist. I'm not doing anything. I swear it. I must just fetch some water. Where will you put it? Where's your jug, eh? Where's your bucket? Uh, didn't you fall through for that romper? Yes. My American blood is on that American romper. And I really want to wear it again. Why don't you just tell the truth? I'm hoping... I don't know. She's a non-human. I'll leave that Lions in their blood. I'm just... I'm hoping sometime in the near future I have a good reason to wear it. Pretty as a picture on the outside, she elves. But the most vile filth within. Leave her be. By what right you giving me orders, eh? Hmm. Let's go, Reddy. Killing's like batting the knife for Witchman. Witchman? You can breathe. It's over. Over? For you, perhaps. You'll go on your merry way. But I must stay here. And they will, too. Nothing I can do about that. Then why get involved at all? You didn't scare those boars off for my sake. For your own. Oh, interesting. Just a Getting called out. A knight on a swiving white steed. What do I have at all? Go, that girl. Gonna and lecture me about the need, nor want your pity. impossibility of a selfless act? Excellent. Geralt, Geralt's a simp now. Yeah, Witch Hunter. Sub badges. It's not the one that I made like five years ago. Back when I was still at Machinima and the laptop actually meant something. Right, let me start this, uh... Geralt simping for those, for those elves. Got him. I love bonking into people. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Who can afford oh. a witcher in this day and age? Not you. Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Mm. Do not disturb them. Yeah, Super Blast X. Tons of companies dropping out of uh, events because of coronavirus concerns. I, uh, makes me nervous about going. Gosh, everybody's dropping out. Is it about to be titties? It's fine. You're allowed to have titties on Twitch. I'm pretty sure my my stream is still marked as as uh, mature. Oh, it's still up. Okay. I mean, we just had we just had did had some hot tid, elderly tid, but still. Oh fuck, man! No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You though, whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again, you disturb me, and I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. Oh, will you? 
first gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure. Satisfaction. <laughs> Achievable with whores in a lot of ways. Many traditional. Doesn't take killing them. Trust Carol, me. there's sex workers, Who said please. anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims. I know how they end. You don't stop. Not unless someone gets in your way. Like I'm doing now. What the fuck are you on about? Murder. Oh. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Fagelbutt, and yeah. many others. <laughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? Somebody who was setting up a fall guy. But I see we must talk. Calmly. God damn it. Who knew you'd be here? Never Strangely that easy. enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner said you were busy. That you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Well, deal with this guy first! But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with Sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. Then you'll pay again. For her. For all the other women you've tortured. That's enough of that. Yep, white inning again. He has the poker on him. Uh. Okay. You're free now. It's like. Do I just leave her there? Oh, thank you. Thank you. If not for you. Yeah, that's pretty satisfying. This is the second time you get to like. He asked if I did everything, and I said for the oh, right Christ. price. Of course. You get to murder somebody who tortures women. Oh, oh God! It gave me the shivers, and then he hit me so hard I passed out. I was bound when I came to, and he was here in the poker in the fire. Calm down. He won't hurt you anymore. He won't hurt anyone. Damn. Damn. I'm taking this. This poker's mine now. Also, whatever's in all the drawers. Nah, I'll leave it all. Uh, there's no one watching. I don't know exactly how this mod works. The one that I... The rebalance mod that makes NPCs react if you start swiping stuff, but... Why leave note? Oh, there was a note? I mean, that was a, that was a setup. Uh, so I didn't think there'd be a note there, but maybe I, maybe I assumed too much. Can you heat up the poker? I, I wouldn't think so. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have that I have that weed pipe. If you kill him before talking to him, you don't find the identity of the real killer. Man. That's that's cool. I like that. Is that just the quest ends right there and you don't have any idea? Or is there some kind of mention about like fucking amazing. About how uh something like people still die. Oh, that's really how it goes down? That's awesome. Mm. <laughs> I appreciate that. The quest just ends. Cool. What the hell? Oh boy, side quest. Let's do this quick. Yeah. Quick. Maybe. What? Whoa. Who's? Wait. Hold on. What's going on here? Take this. Burn it. Hide it. What? Oh, 
Three bandits in possession of magic contraband. Uh, Lucy is the temple. Fritz, Taos, Walter. This to be apprehended or killed with the What? Yeah. No. Oh, fuck. Don't rightly know. Find a letter on another corpse, then if you go to the coroner's office, you'll find a note from him taunting that he's gone and you won't find him. Oh, okay, okay. So, so if you're if you're attentive enough after the quest ends, you do you they do leave a, a breadcrumb trail that you fucked up. I, oh yeah, bruh. Woof. Get him. Sun's extra bright today. That didn't go how it normally goes. Yeah, I guess those dudes rolled up at the wrong time or something. I don't know. Well, I mean, I, I guess I got the next step in whatever the hell that was. Yeah. The special Witcher eyes. Oh, right. Sorry, the timer went off. I got my my magic pants. Wow, these are actually really high armor for some reason. Yeah, weird. How come I don't have my pipe equipped anymore? Also, I don't remember... Where it is. Oh, there it is. Thank God. Thanks for still streaming. Day after tomorrow and I'm drinking. Noise. Hell yeah, dog. I've been in your position so many times of like, three-day weekend. Time to get smashed. Favorite streamers playing games. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, everyone's extra slick right now. Girl knows a thing or two about that. How much longer you get to stream? Uh, I can go pretty late tonight. Two or three more hours at least. Uh oh. Oh. There's another door. Run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you? Oh. Drawn your silver sword. Is he a Doppler? Who, what are you? Oh yeah, uh, there's still some early voting for the Super Tuesday high, primary. Of course. Oh, it's this guy. I thought it was the other dude. Huh. Uh, definitely vote. Please vote. How many saves do you have? I didn't count. Um. Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. Well, I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism is rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the. I fire. swear to God, the they keep salamander. They keep hinting that that thing is just going to drop on him. Doubting hearts, fire down the throat. That. Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Does Lawrence have a mod where Should he takes chest piece invisible, obvious. or just take it off? I just take it I off. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. You guys called it? Man, I, so I, decided I thought it was the first guy. In a Mostly because I kind of got hinted at by that guy in chat, but... There are other ways. Could have set up a soapbox in Hierarch Square. There's a line early in this quest about how he hasn't changed oh, in 30 years. Oh, exactly what you're right. Wow. Listened. Instead they laughed. Through stone. Man, you're not kidding. Why yes, didn't that dude say something then? The something a little more intense? I guess you get separated as soon as this guy finds you, so he doesn't really have a chance. Filed symbols of the faith. A Trabirates for whom nothing was sacred. First guy's just a killer, this is the monster? Oh, so they're working together. They did not deserve to live. That makes more sense. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. Uh waken them. Damn imp Nanch. The path to the fire. Thank you for the uh, to thank you for the sub. For you, I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. The old guy was a killer long ago. Gotcha. Okay, sorry. Pretty gotcha. Good with a sword. Oh boy. Pretty good. My mother got it. Fuck. Oh boy. All right. Um, I'm actually gonna use the restroom real quick. Because this is probably going to be a pretty intense fight. At least I hope it will be. So I'll be right back, guys. We'll see you real soon.
is Kawabungi. And this is Kawabongo. But the turtles for your 16-bit system are Kawabongo! Holy cow, it's turtles in time! The cool arcade game for Super NES. Now with tasty turtle duels. And psych up your Sega Genesis with the Hyper Stone Heist. And all new 3D turtle threat. So remember, this is Kawabingo. But the turtles for Super NES and Sega Genesis are... Kawabunga, dude. Stand with me for a minute, please. Stand with me for a minute. I want you to feel it. I want you to taste it. I want you to say it. Freedom. 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 Deep within, freedom. To do what you want to do. To go where you want to go. To be what you want to be. Freedom. Freedom. William Wallace expected, had expectancy of the people. The diamonds have expectancy. He's going through the epic battle, the final battle, outmanned, outnumbered. And here's his final talk. Here's his final talk to the troops. And our leaders could say the same thing to you, so listen to these words. I see a whole country of men in the army here in defiance of tyranny. You've come here as free men. And free men you are. What will you do without freedom? Will you fight? No, you will run, someone said. Fight, and you may die. Run, and you will live. And dying in your beds, many years from now, would you be willing to trade all the days from this day to that? For one chance, just one chance, to come back here and tell your enemies that you can take our lives, but you can never take our freedom! Our freedom! Alright guys, I'm back at it. Freedom! This music is awesome! The dulcimers? Super into that. Why? Oh, there it goes. Igni, Vampire Blood, or Vampire Oil, alright. Caged Money, thanks for the subs, man. Thank you so much. Gosh, I've been... I was, uh... Here I was lamenting that I didn't have a Saudi Oil Baron to dump money on me like Bruce did, but you guys are going a long way to making up that gap. I appreciate it. You guys, you guys are all collectively my Saudi Oil Baron. Thank you. I think I made, like, bitchin' Vampire Oil. Yeah! Yes! Black blood? Oh yeah! Yes, I can finally use that! I think I even had good black blood. Um, cage money, thank you! Ah, to Dante must die! I always wanted to, uh, go back and play Devil May Cry 5 and go through Dante must die and stuff. Maybe that can be a hard game that I do? There it is. Okay. Black blood, and then. Moon dust will probably help him from. I mean, moon dimit. Dimeridium is for magic, right? And moon dust is to prevent shape shifting. Yeah, that's what we want. Uh, and then the fire one, I bet, would be real good. Dragon's dream. Nope. Wait. How does it explode when ignited? Cause poison when detonated. Dimitrium. Where's the? Yeah, there we go. Okay. okay. I think we're loaded. There's the co-op mod for DMC5. What? Can I just do Weeaby Weeaby Wednesdays like it does Media Share Mondays? I should. Yeah. I mean, maybe I'll start that this week. Oh, City of Intrigues is a song. Awesome. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah. Everyone seems to really, really love Media Share Monday. Um, it gets really good viewership on that, and it just seems like a fun time. Like, I why don't I have a trophy equipped? I super enjoy watching a, a dumb internet shit, so I need to get on that. I just didn't want to just straight up copy him, you know? He kind of started that thing. I didn't want to make it seem like I was, uh, I was crimping his style. Dimeridium literally does nothing in this game. I mean, it blocks my signs. Uh, how are you enjoying Witcher 3? I love it, dude. I'm, I'm enjoying it so much. This game's amazing. 
uh, Maker of Chaos, which makes me only more excited for Cyberpunk. Um, not only is it 100% my shit, but it's also from developers I super respect. And, I don't know. I'm just, I'm really, really excited for it. Can you not... Whoa! Just can't lock onto him. There we go. Ooh! Oh, that didn't do so much. Oh, I also didn't drink the potion. Nope. No! Ah! Oh, crap. Forgot. There we go. Nope, nope. Fuck. God damn it. It's been a long... It's been a while since I've done a... Ah! It's been a while since I've done a... A, a big fight in Witcher. Ah! So I am biffing it real hard right now. Fuck. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Crap. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, crap. God, that life regen is so slow. Ugh. Wrong sword? Shit. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. Uh. Hold on a second. Let me... Ignis, yeah, let me... I, I, I might have other potions that will... Uh, restore some life or something. Uh, that'll give me a couple more bombs. Topping out on toxicity now. Crap. I wonder if it's gonna start. It's gonna. Shit. Hey, come back here. Damn it. Ah, God damn it. Yeah, I know. I used all my white Rafford uh, fighting the guards. That was dumb. I could have played that better. Also, I shouldn't have spammed potions because I didn't remember how to use my goddamn uh, quick selects. Eat some, eat some food. Food is heal over time. I already had the food buff. Also, why did my TV switch to? Oh, okay, it's back. The game does auto pull the right sword. I was an idiot and was smushing on the D-pad. God damn it! Gotta do all this again. But yeah, I'm all out of white raffers, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, I guess I was in an animation, so they wouldn't let me. It doesn't do a whole lot, actually. It set me on fire, though. Yeah, it's kind of cool. If you, like, stack the right potions and buffs, you can just mash your way through really intense boss fights. Now, one 
these again. This fight was so weird since in lower higher vampires are supposed to be these near unkillable creatures. Hmm. I wonder why... They, hmm. The game seems to be really, uh, really respectful of the lore in most situations. I wonder why they would do that. He was a bitch-made vampire? Oh. Is there, is there even more lore to explain why that is? I think he was lying about higher vampire parts since higher vampires are super powerful. Hmm. Could be. Oh, he's not actually a higher level vampire? Okay. There. Lore intact. Uh, game is not trash, as previously suspected. Again. Higher vampire is an incredibly rare form of vampire and often mistaken for their lesser brethren from the wiki. Well, that's, that's inverted, though. Higher vampires are often mistaken as lower vampires, but I guess if that's the case, then they're interchangeable, right? He just says he's one to get the views. <laughs> uh -oh. He's one of them fake Instagram vampires. Just try to ask her for the first time. It's fun if kind of weird and wonky at first on controller. Are you talking about like the, the pro Astro controllers? Yeah, they're a little weird. They're a little weird shaped. I do think that like Microsoft has really, really zeroed in on, at least for my hands, the size of my hands, the like almost perfect ergonomics for a controller. Um, I still even like the asymmetric sticks. Like, there's people who really prefer the, the Sony style of it, but I... I don't know. I feel like, in most games, my left hand is... My left thumb is using the stick, my right thumb is using buttons. So why not put those in the most natural position most of the time? Um, anyone play Hades? Yeah, but I haven't played it since all the updates hit. I need to get back to that and try it out. He was a Catan, higher of hamster, godlike beings? Okay. Astro oh, oh, sorry, Tapper Cactar. Astrologian in 14. I think I missed around with that for like a long, like years ago. Tried it for a little bit. I think my Astrologian's like level 14 or something. I haven't messed with it very much at all. Sorry, I completely misunderstood. Thank you for the clarification, though. Oh, Maker of Chaos. Sorry, I think I missed your sub. Appreciate it. Geralt wouldn't even consider a contract against a master vampire, would likely let him do whatever he wanted. Mm. That reminds me, I got a... Astrologian as Baller and Shadowbringers? Yeah? I gotta go back and get my hair cut again. I thought there was a... I thought there was a barber over in this area of town. This is the drunk guy, right? Is he still drunk? What's the worst controller you've used? Steam controller's up there for me. Oh, man. Let me think. Uh... I really, really, really didn't like the 6-axis. Um, that is up there in, like, worst controllers, really, of all time for me. Let me think about that. That's a good question. Um, I mean, there's been some, like, Nyko PS2 controllers that were just hard trash. Uh, the Xbox Duke I wasn't a big fan of. Like, the white and black buttons. That was kind of a bad call. And, like, they were, like, jelly bean shaped. Um, I didn't really like that. Oh, the Atari Jaguar controller is hot trash. The D-pad? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't even consider that in the running. Uh, just got off work in time to catch some of the stream. Is it going so far? Very well. I'm about to wrap up a pretty intense quest. I like Xbox Dookie. Boom! Boo yeah! Nice, bro. Oh, welcome back to you. Satisfied customer always comes by again, aye? Give me a haircut. As long as your hands aren't too shaky. Elven, Elven Rebel, always. Now you guys love that Elven Rebel. Hmm. Yeah, the Dreamcast controller wasn't wasn't super hot. I'll go with this for a while. This kind of matches the uh, the hairy hairiness. So long. 
was into nothing with the N64 controller? I don't know. Um, it was wildly experimental at the time, remember that. They got the trigger. Like, every controller has it here now, but Nintendo got that, that underslung trigger. Really early. And they made it really useful in the game, so I think they deserve credit for that. And analog stick, like... Uh, they had to hedge their bets, man. Like, imagine being Nintendo at the N64 and being like, 3D games need analog control. And then everyone else is like, that's ridiculous. We have to have a normal controller. So what do you do? You make it so you can hold it like that and it's a normal controller. Or you hold it like that and you get analog control. Um, and then you give it giant-ass prongs so that when somebody walks up to it, they know where to hold it. Um, I get it. I get it. I think it was... I think the N64 thing was more like usability and intuition. Nintendo's always been very good about that, and I think that's something people take for granted. Is that when you walk up to an N64 controller, you knew how to hold it most of the time. I mean, it's confusing and it looks weird, but the second you put your hands on it, it makes sense. I don't know that um, other controllers, like, how do, you, how do you combine that sensibility with also the need to have a legacy style controller in there, just for safety's sake? For game developers that have no idea how to make games for analog. Um, I think they did a pretty good job. Uh, I think it was improved on since then. With the, like, with basically this design of having the stick and the D-pad right next to each other. But, you know, it takes time and iteration to get there. Dreamcast controller is physically painful, yeah. The dinner plate. And the cord coming out the bottom. I don't think it's terrible, just in hindsight it's really goofy, yeah. I mean, remember the PS3 boomerang? Ugh. Better, right? Y yes Ah, oh, man. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The witch's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. This is the first time in a long time Geralt hasn't looked like an absolute mess. If you're part of the UA, what would your quirk and your hero name be? Ooh. Mmm. Let me think. Hmm. I'd be something like Wild Bits, and I would be able to instantly understand and use any electronics to a master level. So, like, you hand me any laptop. In a second, I would be able to make it do anything and have it, like, talk to and control any electronic devices around me. So... I'd carry around a, like... I'd have, like, a keyboard and, like, a... Uh, like a bandolier around my chest and I'd just... I'd, like, really... I'd anime style, like, unsnap it and sling it out like a whip. And then, uh, just, like, tickety-tack. Like, I'd, I could plug it into anything because of my mastery. And then program and control it. Like a typing of the dead keyboard? Yeah, like a, a battery-powered tray right in front of me. Uh, Did my part. Your turn now. But yeah, that would be Take me. care of her. Good care. I always be carrying batteries or you gotta eat sugar all the time. You'll see. I think part of it would be that I could also power things with my quirk. So, like, I could charge phones. I could power computers. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. No. Yeah, the Hawkeye hacker arrow. Exactly. She'll play the lute. I'll sing. Aww. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't Dandelion, it? Dandelion, you give me the feelings, Sounds buddy. Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. Aww. Stage and off. Aww. Aww. Is this the Hia? Sure is. Your whip could be, or your weapon could be a whip cat of nine tails, but it's like every connector for computers. Yeah, I could see that. Yes, Geralt. Um, something like the, uh, like the razor wire they showed in the, um, the cyberpunk demo. How it's like, it's like a, a hacking cable, but you also like can use it as a garrot. Found and killed the Titanfall hack knife. <laughs> it was Hubert. You were right not to trust him. He was a higher vampire. Geralt's saying he's higher vampire. Surprise me in Novigrad. Seems I was wrong. Deeply wrong. Ask Thank about you, Shani. Geralt. Were it not for you, this would never have ceased. I mean, they're all there. Alright, fine. 
Now another surgeon from Oxenford Academy. Her name's Shani. Know her? Red hair. I did see a mod that replaces... And a hopeless idealist. Uh, Naturally, I know her. Uh, she was my assistant for a year. Yennefer oh, Triss, uh, that one witch that I boned, I can't remember her name, somewhere along places the them all with Shani. Up Pikeman. I told her it would be futile. In the time she saved a hundred lives, another thousand would be lost. Oh. But medics with a mission. You can't argue. Gotcha. Kira, thank you. Kira Metz, yeah. Um, okay, so higher vampires are different than high vampires. Got it. Okay. All right, all right, all right. This is main story, Mad Leaper. Me about or side, side quest, really. More vivid than I'd assumed. I have not time for riddles, Geralt. Be straight or be gone. <laughs> Any truth to his claim that people died during the riots at the university? Died for your cause? I was young and stupid. I thought a better future was worth any price. Even a human life or two. But those are past sins. Sins I've atoned for. At least he owned up to it. Why is the university in Oxenford closed? Because it suits Radovid. You've not heard the story? The rector wished to grant him an honorary doctorate. The faculty disagreed. Not Where are you in your search for Siri? Um, ceremony, donned a gown, basically just science pointing to Skellige. And when it was over, imprisoned the deans and the entire academic um, senate. I went to Skellige and, and just did the very first thing the there, like the, the party, I guess, where you have to dress up with Yen. But oh, that's it. I came back to Novigrad to wrap up some stuff here. Perhaps so that's where I'm best. At. I finished, obviously finished up the part uh, of finding Dandelion, and and I'm just, I guess I'm wrapping up the, the follow-up from the Cabaret mission. Farewell. Uh, so, that was that was a cool quest, though. Man. I, uh, if there's one thing I appreciate, is that most quests in this game really try to swerve on you. Um, it's very easy to, especially with the number of quests, to just assume that all some of them are going to be rote. Like, go there, do the thing, quest over, get your reward. Um, doesn't seem like that happens all that often, which is pretty cool. Also, yeah, going to Skellige is cool because it's just, it's... My yeah, partner's mentioning that. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the one I picked up. Um, because, uh... Yes, you! You got water on the... It's like, it's very obviously a different kind of culture, too. They're all Vikings, yeah. But it's like... I don't know, Velen is like, it's it's war, it's politics, it's hysteria, it's racism, it's all, it's, it's all this stuff um, that is like almost more typical dark fantasy, but you go to Skellige and, ah, chicken, and you get away from some of that stuff. It's just, it's nice. Like, it's different kinds of problems. It's not, it's not just all this like dour, dark, muddy, shitty, rapey, murdery stuff. Um, or maybe it is, I don't know. I haven't spent that much time in, 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 uh, Skellige, to be honest, but. Uh. But it seems like it's, it's, uh, it's different in tone. Why is it raining in here? Oh, you gotta patch, you gotta patch up your roof. Patch your shit, my dude. Skellige people seem much nicer than the people of the land in Novigrad. Yeah, that's it too. It's like... Everyone, everyone is so mean and beat down in Velen. It's nice to go to a place where people just talk. Like, people seem a little more willing to just talk to you like an equal instead of just being pissy and shitty all the time. I'd say more sincere than nicer. Yeah, Jim, which that, that, that's a fair thing to say. Oh. Oh. Timmy, I caused it. I, I caused it to rain where you are. Well, I guess maybe that's my quirk. Okay, they're sleeping. Well, they're okay with me just watching, walk, walking through their house. I would be pissy too if I lived in shit. Yeah, no, I get it. Like it makes sense. Definitely not complaining. Um, Cause it, I like it. Like, I, I guess I assumed the whole game would be like that, but the fact that they can actually switch tone. Um, when you go to different areas, is just super, super cool. The main problem with Skellig is that everyone wants up getting drunk and beating the shit out of each other, women and children included. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty awesome. Maybe I'm not supposed to be in here. 
Maybe it's, maybe it's in something I gotta loot? Hmm. It's just around. Oh. Hmm. Free dumpling. Another free- two free dumplings. This quest is already going very well. It says it's below you. Where does it say that? Unless I'm missing the indicator. There's a little dot with the steps ne uh, next to it on the mini-map. Yeah, okay, so. Very- I'm too high there. Hehe. <laughs> You'll have too much of that witch weed. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Damn it. I wanted to wanted to take a nice hit of my... Uh, hold on a second. Get out the moonlight here. Geralt had a pretty rough day. Slate a damn vampire. He, he, uh, he's deserved some... Uh, some relaxation. Oh, I forgot the button to hit that shit. Oh yeah, it's Q. Okay. So does blow you on the previous house. Uh, okay, next to the minimap. Gotcha. Look at Geralt coughing like an amateur. Yeah, a little bit of the old Toby. South Farthing's finest pipe weed. Alright, sick. I don't know how to stop. Geralt, get up! Okay. Vapes still make me cough? Oof. Be careful with that stuff. You're probably... I don't know, you might want to find a vaporizer that's not as intense. This was the house I was in. Yeah. So, there's cat diagrams here. Might as well go get that too. In Illinois, it's hard to get a legal vape. Oh, is it? I imagine, yeah, that stuff's not. I feel for states that haven't passed, uh, haven't legalized everything yet. I wonder how quickly that'll sweep the nation, man. It's it's just produced so much money for the, the states that have passed it. I, but then again, like, there's a lot of things that states would do if they actually paid attention to what worked in other states. I know a lot of that is cultural. One of the... While there are things that I... Oh. While there are things that I miss about Texas, I know that, like, that's just never gonna happen there. Which is a, a damn shame. Oh, if Bernie wins? Well, I mean, he can make it... I guess he can make... I mean, Obama basically soft decriminalized it, but yeah. I guess Bernie could make it legal at a federal level. That's a good point. That's a very good point. Didn't think about that. Mates. Way things are now ain't a snowball's chance in the summer. We're gonna move the goods at a decent price. Too many finks, too many, too few buys. I'm gonna hide it, and wait for better times to come, assuming they ever do. I know what you're thinking, and I'm trying to fuck you over. That I'll hoof it along with the treasure. Not that I hold that against you. Don't trust you one whit either. So in order for us to sleep soundly, let's do the following. We'll hide the loot at my place, behind a door with three locks, which, as you geniuses surely guessed can only be open with three keys. One held by each of us. That way we'll be sure no one will plow with the others. We'll split the gold evenly once it's blow all blown over. Deal? Cool. I'm gonna get that treasure. Even though they're all dead, so one of them did fuck everyone else over. Okay, so here's where I gotta go after I get the other keys. Makes sense? <laughs> hey, Wumsy. Yeah, Zyron. Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of using this as a, uh, a chance to just fuck around and try some stuff. It's a pain in the ass. Even though it's legal in my state, you can still get refused a job if you test positive. Yeah, that's, that's like dumb as hell. 
That is the stupidest thing, I swear to God. I, I don't get that. That that ha has got to be right. something that'll fade away over time. I wonder about that because there are like testing companies that make deals with companies that do that testing and they send a lot of work and money towards those testing companies to do those piss tests. So it's like, it's a lucrative business arrangement. And uh, when people are have like an evergreen deal like that, that just brings in brings in money, it takes forever for that stuff to get undone. Because it's money. Like if somebody's earning money on it, and the the only the only uh, the only other solution is to stop earning that money, no one's just gonna say, okay, well, I guess we won't take on all that work anymore, piss testing all these people. I think, yeah, I had to do a piss test in Texas to work at Best Buy. I had to go to like a a Quest Diagnostics. Oh boy, this is a trap. What's the problem? My house, something haunts it. It howls. That's battles, series. Chains, plates. I fear model. There. Will you see what sort of phantom this is? I'll spend no amount of. It really looks like it. Sounds like a white or a puff bow. Fine. How many Lamborghinis are you gonna buy? Uh, three or four. Ever so much. Come with me. I will show you the way. Uh. There's only so many Lamborghinis that'll fit in my driveway, but I guess I could just expand my driveway. Build a build a another level driveway that I can park more cars on. Beware. Yeah, it's weird. And Doctor Eleven, there's just, the list of the list of extremely apparent and utterly visible contradictions in, in a lot of the conservative mindsets are are much more apparent than that. That's what that's what kind of frustrates me is like some there are some conservatives that are actually all about small government and everything that that means everyone else is just about like religious dogma which is it's a bummer it it makes it hard to legitimize i guess can i guess uh yep it's a trap the uh the con the con the other contrary part of that is like there are some people who are actually about liberal or believe fully in like liberal doctrines and liberal government and then there's just angry college kids who are trying to piss off their parents you know yeah Don't enjoy being tricked. Tricked? I only said my house was haunted. I could not know it was hunters. Psh! Mm hmm. Except the hunters knew exactly who they were waiting for. Reeks of a trap to me. Very well. Perhaps I've not been completely candid. Especially as I've no gold for the reward either. Which does not mean you shall walk away empty handed. Here, a key to a treasure. There are three in all. Follow the hunter wow. to find the other two. I must flee now. I did not think that was where that was gonna go. But okay. Oh, okay. It's just another way to uh pick up that quest. Alright. Interesting. That is kinda neat how you can tell that the game has multiple multiple start points for quests. Uh are you a left laner or a right laner? I mean Pepe, I understand the nature of the question, but it should be pretty obvious. <laughs> it should be pretty obvious. Uh, but I will say what I... Not not that you've really done this, but what I don't like doing is just putting a blanket term. Pick up that sword for sale. I wondered if that was going to drive somebody crazy. Okay, fine. I will pick up the sword and sell it. I don't need money, but I'll do it anyway. Yeah, I identify as a DeLorean. Oh, I, sh I shouldn't even make make identifying jokes. Those are lame as shit. God damn. That's the second you know you're old. Good God. When you when you have, try to make light of something that kids are doing. Jesus Christ, just keep your mouth. Anyway. Um, yeah, I... I don't know. I, I, I'm not a big fan of... of uh, Wonderful. Of, of sort of whittling my belief structure down into a, a blanket label. Yeah, I know, Pepe. I, I appreciate that. You're, you're being very nice and, and giving me plenty of answer to, uh, or plenty of, plenty of room to answer gracefully, which is something that is, it's a bit of an art that, um, some people don't quite embrace or understand. It's like, there's ways to answer questions that leave, let the other person, oops, sorry. No, don't get mad. They give the other person options to be graceful, and there are some questions that are phrased in a way that, like, don't give you a whole lot of, so I appreciate it. Uh, 
But uh, I, I have a belief structure that governs the way that I try to interact with my world and my actions in it. And that belief structure tends to lead to more correlation with like one side of the ideology or the other. Um, but yeah, Senpai, I agree with I agree with that, sir. Left to right, who cares? As long as we have those big jiggly anime titties, we'll be fine. Yeah, anime titties for president. Bernie Sanders is gonna make all titties big. We'll have we'll finally have gay anime weed and big titties. Wait, what's been documented in social sciences? Oh, ideologically sorted? Yeah, it's it's true. Just, oh yeah. Makes it easier for people to make sense of it, right? If everything has to be hot takes, everything gets kind of hyper-normalized. Uh, hyper-normalized is not the right word. Hyper-minimized, I guess? No. Oh. Nope, I don't want that stupid book. Give me what's in here. Glowing ore? I guess that's a really important item. Hmm. Small tits are good too. They are, nut buster. I, uh, as, as much as I appreciate big titties, you know what? All titties are beautiful. Yeah, Bernie's finally gonna legalize waifus. Uh, waifus for all. If you got a flu, you can go to the hospital, get that checked out, and they'll, hand, they'll stuff a waifu in your hands on the way out. Oh, that's right. He wants me to plot regicide. Great. How's that level 14? That seems like it's some, uh, some high-level shit. Uh, also, does this give me quest icons? Or does it just point to the guy I gotta give the cards to? Yeah, it's just... Man. Fringilla, Isengrim, and Nautilus. I don't have any of those. Damn. I think I might have Fringilla. <laughs> the Yang of Waifus. Free waifu in the mail every month. Uh, yeah, I, I always remember the, uh, what is it, the... I think I just saw it, somebody posted on a forum. Large enemy titties will fill your hand. Small enemy titties fill your heart. So, that's good. I'd highly recommend reading Ezra Klein's book, Why We're Polarized. It really put it in perspective the frustrations I've been having with this political moment as a young person. Okay. I'm... I'm log jammed on a really academic book right now, but uh, I'll, I'll slip it into the queue. I'm alternating between this, like, I, I've talked about it before, uh, this, this super thick book heh, about, uh, like, academics, philosophy, and technology. It's I almost don't want to finish reading it, but there's good food for thought in there. Um, and then a collection of poetry from Henry Rollins, which is pretty, pretty great. Small enemy titties fit in my mouth. Well... That's, I mean, that's the beauty, though. I got a big mouth, so, you know. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's, I don't need to do that. Ah, oh, I gotta get, I gotta get more cards. Maybe my sword's done. That'd be nice. I'm probably not even high enough level nice. to, oh, it's not giving me the, never mind. It'll update, the quest will update when it, once enough time passes, I guess. Uh... Okay. I guess I'm I guess I'm off to Skellige then. It seems like it seems like I've done most of the stuff I can do. In, uh, in Novigrad. Anime booty is more than anime titty? Oh, well, you know. I, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be wary of making such uh, bold statements for on behalf of everybody, but... Uh, shoot. Okay. Uh, I think I think I'll actually stop there for tonight. Which I am cutting, cutting it a little sooner than I thought I would, so I'm sorry about that. But, I've rem I'm, I remembered that I, I want to, like jiggle around my PC stuff one more time. So, I think what I'll do... Yeah, I'll do some tech. I'll do some tech jiggling. Move that move that capture card around, see if I can get it to where I can play at 120 and capture it work at 60. And, uh... If not, maybe I'll just... I'll just 
kick it down to 60 hertz every time I play video games. Which... Mm. Yeah, we got a whole week of witching. Which you're in. What I'm worried is that little things will start biting away at the time, kind of like it's happening right now. Um, also, I'm going to play World of Horror tomorrow, too, so... So yeah, tomorrow! Uh, first spooky game on the stream, I guess. Uh, World of Horror. I'm really excited to crack into that. And then Witcher. And that's it, man. I got nothing else planned. Uh, I'm gonna wake up, eat breakfast, work out, video games all day. Uh, so, I hope you guys tune in for that. If not, thank you so much for watching. Ah! Dumb Bum Spum! I love your name, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry because I'm, I'm closing it down right now, so... Hopefully I can blow the candle out without spraying wax all over the room. I had to bust out a, uh, a hair dryer to clean it all up last time. It actually went by pretty, or it cleaned up pretty quickly. Unfortunately, the, the curtains are stained, but not noticeably so. So it turned out okay. Uh, here, let me give you guys the full, the full Lawrence. Thank you guys for watching again. I keep going. Sorry about, uh, I don't know. Geralt's not as fat as he used to be, so sorry about that. But yeah, see you guys next time. Appreciate you watching, appreciate the subs, the cheers, and even just hanging out in chat. That's good too. Appreciate y'all. All right, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Go.